Hey guys, the chickens here. Back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're going to go over some of the most important tips and tricks to get you guys off to the right start on season 25. And if you're struggling, wherever you're at, we're going to kind of go over the tech tree and just uh, hammer it out for a bunch of different scenarios, a bunch of different people, a bunch of different ranks. If you find this video is helpful, oh, also make sure to check the shop. Um, we had a... We have offers coming in every few days, um, like a couple times a week, something like that for the rest of the season. So make sure you're not missing out on those. While you're in there, if you want to support the channel, I do appreciate it if you use the code chicken in the shop. So with that being said, uh, I'm going to go over where I'm at right now. So I'm at, uh, I got to rank 22. Um, we're just kind of floating at the moment because what I'm doing right now is I'm saving up to skip ahead to the next engine room. Um, and to do that... I'm gonna need 165 keys, so we gotta hold off. And if you look at my log, look, I've got an attack here from two days ago. Like sometimes the best thing that you can do in Warships is to simply not play. And it's not like I'm doing that badly. Like I won my last one. We went on a little win streak uh, yesterday. Um, so we're holding on, but it's just not a great time for me to be pushing. And this is something we talk about all the time in the season starting guide videos, um, is to know when to push, especially if you're doing what I'm doing, where I'm just trying to skip ahead and then open up the next engine room even earlier. So let's bring it back a little bit. So if you're at four engines, uh, you know, you're not going to have any benefit of skipping out on defenses and moving up to the next engine room. The, the way you play warships always depends on, uh, a couple things, your starting rank and your current rank. If you're... Uh, you know, in rank 16, 17, 18 even, uh, it's a whole different, it's a whole different game than, you know, what the guys up in 23 and 24 are going to be playing against. Uh, typically, the higher your rank, to just keep it simple, the higher your rank, the, the more important it is to go ahead in the tech tree and unlock the next thing versus unlocking all the defenses and making a really strong base. Typically, that's how it works. So, with that being said, uh, if we're around the, uh, the four engine mark, so where's chicken i'm at six so that's five and that's four um yeah if you're around here you want to do a couple things so you want to make sure you get the trip damage obviously that's a no-brainer but you want to make sure you get the shock launchers before you go to five because by the time here's the thing if you're a little bit late to go to five it's fine it just means that the fives you're going to be matched up against as soon as you go there they're going to have all the defenses before you so make sure that you grab those defenses before uh you go to five engines just make sure you get grab the shock launchers artillery is nice to have too on offense um you know uh, the shock blaster is the prototype you want to choose there then you can go ahead and move forward once you get grabbed all the other stuff too so and then between uh five and six basically what i've got is the important stuff this is not important um, what we want to get is we want to get our heavy choppers, we want to get our building health, our troop health, our sky shield, and our barrage. So if you're a little bit late to um, to six, it's not as imperative right now, but if you're you know coming up to six in a few days or a couple days kind of thing, um, I would grab the barrage because at that point you're going to have shock launchers, you're going to have artillery, and you're going to have barrage. That's going to that's going to uh, allow you to just progress a little bit easier. It's not going to be as hard to push forward through the ranks. That's what we want to do. Um, now, once we go up past here, so where I'm at, um, now if, if you want to go with Seekers, they're they're really strong right now with Heavy Choppers. Um, I typically stay away from Seekers and, and Rocket Choppers just out of personal preference. I mean, if they're super dominant, I'll play them, but I just don't really uh, play those troops a lot. Not super good with them, so it's not something that, uh, you know, it's a risk-reward thing. If you're good with Seekers, you know, you can probably make them work. Um, that being said, they're better with uh, Gunboat Energy, and they're you're going to use them with heavy choppers so just keep that in mind if you are going to open seekers that you're going to want some gbe and you're going to want some uh you're going to want some heavy choppers to protect them because that's what they're doing i think they're running like two seekers and six heavy choppers something like that at six and 70 r so yeah other stuff that we need here guys um the multi-node is meh we don't need that uh we got another sky shield up here or another shock blaster depending on your base layout those are going to be nice things to have but Honestly, I think uh, even for everybody else, like as we get towards the end of the tech tree, these types of nodes at the very end are always so important. Like getting to the building health right now is just all I'm focused on. I don't care about backfilling. I don't care about, you know, getting prototypes or defenses. I just want to get to that building health because by the time that I get there, um, sure, there's going to be other guys that, that a lot of other guys that have it too, but um, I'm going to be ahead of the pack that's behind me and they're not going to be able to compete uh, 
um, against a 70 yard base that has building health. It's just, you know, that's how it is. So that's what I'm gunning for. That's what my plan is. And hopefully that helps you guys out if you're trailing a little bit uh, either behind or you're just not sure what to do. I wanted to make this video specifically because I feel like this season has been very confusing in terms of tech tree, uh, in terms of paths. There's a ton of different paths. Um, it is cool because there, there's not a lot of bad paths. Um, there's there's not a lot of mistakes you can really make other than if you just get everything too early um, and you're not able to push up as, as, as quickly, but you'll still be able to rank up. Um, so yeah. There's a couple different options of ways you can go. I mean, basically, you're either skipping ahead to the engine or you're going back and you're getting the defenses that we talked about. Those are going to be the important ones to put you ahead. So let's uh, let's go to the attack next. Now, what I'm using right now is heavy choppers and bombers. You could basically do the same thing with heavies and bombers. And by now, everybody's got those. So I am going to be running Kavan with this. And this has been the six engine, uh, the six engine hit, uh, you know, at the start of 6ER and at the end of 6ER, so it's all the same. So we're going to go 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, throw the good dock in behind. Now, the times we're aiming for on this, especially a base with max rocket launchers like this, um, we want to be around like 210 plus. 210 is kind of the cutoff, so that's what we're aiming for. Now, a lot of the bases now that we're seeing are running this uh, the sky shield up on the right side, which isn't uh, the end of the world. Uh, it's just a little bit tricky. You just got to be more careful about which way they're going to spread as they go. Um, but yeah, this one's going to be tough, I can tell. All right, so he's got he's got the rocket there. He's got the doom cannon over there. He's got tons of mines on the right side. Interesting setup. Okay. Let's go with a nice and early Kavon. Now, we don't need to start shocking stuff until that doom cannon comes into range. He's going to be preoccupied with some of those riflemen. So that's fine. We can go ahead and shock him now. Now is about the time where we can throw this stuff down over here. And let's actually get another uh, second wind going there. Those rockets are doing some damage to our um, <clears throat> to our bombardiers. Look, shooting right up over top of that heavy. Uh, okay, that's good. Now let's go s uh, critters down here. That rocket launcher just does not want to give up on these two bombers right here. If we ever take something down, I gotta get use that medkit, but by the time we get there, I think we'll be okay. Um, Alright, so we got bombers down this way. Now, this is exactly how we want the attack to be going, kind of. Um, we want the troops to split against all three directions uh, all at once. So we want to be taking down every every uh, every part of the base at, uh, at the same time. That's the idea that we're shooting for here. Alright, let's go critters down this way and down this way. Try to keep some of those bombers alive, get some extra damage. And let's go like that. Okay, are we flaring? We are flaring, guys. Okay, two, three. So this is looking a little bit slow. I think they uh, they must have screwed up on the attack, or... Um, yeah, I think that's the only explanation at this point, is they screwed up worse than we did, because this was very slow. But a lot of the attacks come down to this. This wasn't like out of this world crazy bad or anything. Um... That's just kind of some of the that's some of the times we've been seeing. So let's see, 140 something. <sighs> Looks like he is gonna get us here. He's only got one bomber there. He's only got one bomber. Oh come on, Rocket MVP right there. I think. What did we get? 144? This is gonna be so close. Come on, come on, bring it home, chicken. Yes, <laughs> yes. It's always the other way around. It's always the other way around. Um. That's funny, we got the first win of the day too. That's cool, I'll take that. Um, so yeah, that's going to bring us back up to, uh, back up and beyond to 22. So, yeah, there it is. There it is. And from there, we're just, we're just chilling. We're just chilling. I just want to maintain my diamond chest until we get to 7. Um, and then from there, we're going to try to push forward because it's been, uh, it's been pretty rough out there. It's been pretty rough there. So I hope that helps you guys out. If it doesn't help you out, make sure, check out the, um, Oh, I forgot to announce two cool things I got coming up. I'm doing a giveaway of boom boxes. I got five boom boxes I'm giving away. I haven't figured out how I'm going to do it yet. Um, and I'm, I've got a, a Q&A coming up with uh, Nunu, who is the community manager for Boom Beach. If you don't know what that means, he's basically the guy that talks to the dev team and then talks to us. And, you know, he, um, yeah, he makes the social media posts for Boom Beach and that kind of thing. So excited we're gonna be talking to him uh, that video is gonna go up this weekend if you guys want to get your questions in uh, anything that uh, you guys want me to ask him 
let me know in the you can let me know in the comments or uh, I have a, a, a channel set up in the discord server um, if you join that you'll see everything you'll 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 get to see uh, the news for the giveaway you'll you'll see the um, where you can put your questions for uh, the community manager interview and yeah stay up to date on everything is worship so there it is guys I hope that helps you out. I hope you enjoyed the video as always Thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next one. Guys, chicken out. Back, back.